with great joy welcome both of you, William and Haley. Welcome your parents, grandparents, siblings, uncles and aunts, family members, your friends, your classmates. Welcome to this beautiful church during this Christmas season. Today the church welcomes you with your families as in the presence of God our Father here in this holy ground. You are going to establish the holy covenant as you are going to enter into holy matrimony. May the Lord hear you on this joyful day. May he send you help from heaven to protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. For those that I haven't met yet, uh, I first want to start by thanking both Will and Haley's family for putting on such a beautiful wedding. So cheers to them. But an even bigger thank you to Miss Kowalik, wherever she's at. And my mom, because of them two being best friends, me and this girl have been best friends for 25 years now without choice, really. Um, but what I did not know at two years old when they stuck our hands together was the unwavering loyalty that I was gaining in a friend like Haley. First and foremost, growing up, Will has demonstrated what brotherhood really means throughout our life. We've shared friends, enemies, laughter, a lot of tough love, and really good memories uh, together. You've never made me feel like the younger brother, though, even though I deserved it <laughs> time and time again really of the many things you've taught me so far through life and helped me accountable to loyalty, self-respect, confidence, have all been held to the utmost importance. And I, I think uh, I think Haley keeps Will really grounded. Um, Will's a, a great guy, but but is is the life of the party and is going a, a thousand miles an hour at all times. And I think Haley really really keeps him uh, yeah keeps him grounded. Um, she's she's a good foundation. I think they both have so much faith in God, and that's a, a really big driver of their love. Um, but other than that, they're just so similar. They they both love to love. They both are just generous and kind. And um, anywhere you go, I just know that they'd both be people that we could call the next day and they would be there for us. Um, and they're so on track with that, that I think that's what makes their love so special. It is a joyful moment to all of us, not only to both of you, to see you at this young age, inviting God into your relationships, because you understand it takes three to get married. It takes you, William, and your relationship, personal relationship with our Lord. For all of us, this is a reminder that God has a great things prepared for all of us. That is why we surround you today not only with our physical presence, but most of all with our love towards you. And we share the same faith with you and we surround you with our prayers that you remain in his love. Uh, Haley is a very uh, strong-willed, just nice person to be around. She's friendly, she's kind, uh, but she's determined. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I, I see that determination in her 
uh, in, in, in how she perceives herself to others and goes about her work and so forth. Oh, Haley Rose, um, she is my best friend. She has been since day one. Uh, when you talk about a true loyal friend, that's Haley. And she has never left my side through the good, bad, ugly. And she's, I mean, we've moved seven hours apart now for over six years, and I know I can call her any time of the day, and she's gonna always tell me what, whether I wanna hear it or not, it's what's right. Um, she has a heart for the Lord, and you can just tell, and she that shines through her anytime you're around her. And I think anybody that meets her wants to be more like Haley Rose. I will say a lot of people that know us too can agree that we're pretty polar opposites. Uh, she's always been considered the brains, which whatever. Well, so, but with that, for an example, like any situation in her life, she has to analyze the situation, evaluate it interpret it, figure out how it affects her life in a negative and positive way, and then make a decision about something. Uh, and then there's me who just kind of walks into situations and hope that they work out, but that's probably also why I'm standing here single on her wedding day. So, moral of that story, be, like, be more like Haley Rose. To you, William, Jesus wants Haley to experience this love from the cross. You love without conditions. You forgive because God forgives you first. The same for you, Haley. No conditions. You will love William until death. And you are able to do so because God loves you first. And God forgives you first. This is the best investment for your marriage. Let Jesus love you. Let Jesus abide within you. Allow Jesus to forgive you frequently. And I can promise to you, no power of darkness will ever be able to separate you from the love of God. Will's a very fun-loving young man. He's uh, you know, very mature for his age. Very proud of him. You know, we raised him up these last 25 years and he's turned into a very loving young man's going to be a incredible father. Looking forward to what's ahead of him. Since I was a kid, Will's always been reliable. He's always been someone that, you know, works hard and is loyal. Uh, he's always held that to the utmost importance as, as a kid. Like, growing up with Will, I could always rely on him and um, always make me laugh too, no matter what was going on. If we were fighting, you know, a couple minutes later we could joke around and, you know, let bygones be bygones, so really, really reliable and loyal guy. Haley, thank you for putting up with the many nights at Blue Light Live in Lubbock. May there be many more of those. Also, thank you for helping my brother grow in his faith, his confidence, and putting up with his goofiness. We love you for that. I'm proud to add another sister to my family and watch you continue to grow as the Christian couple that you are. In closing, proud to say that I know my brother and continue to be the funny, strong, laid-back guy that we know him for and love him for when he's with you, Haley. Welcome to the family. Cheers. Everyone enjoy their night.
knows how to get Haley out of her comfort zone a little bit, but also um, know when to not mess with her. And I've just never seen my best friend so happy and giddy anytime she's been around anybody. And so instantly, whenever I um, got the phone call that she had met Will, I, I, I prayed right then and there that he was going to be the one because, again, I had never seen my best friend like that. I could just tell in her voice that he was going to be it, and I prayed right then and there that it was him because I've never seen my best friend like that before. And so, Will, thank you for loving my best friend, and thank you for wearing the Lissy and Eckle hat the first time she ever saw you. So, <laughs> I truly, I truly think that was God sent, that he was wearing a Lissy and Eckle hat, and she caught his eye, and I mean, the rest is history, obviously, but again, thank you for treating her the way you do, and I'm just so thankful to now call you a friend and welcome you into the family. He's a very patient guy. Um, I think throughout the years we've learned how to handle each other and bless him, he's learned to have the patience. He's very kind. People want to be his friend. You want to be around him and you want to get to know him and I think that's one of the things that initially attracted me was just his energy of being so positive and happy all the time. This day was something that we dreamed of. She has found the perfect man. When she was a little girl, she was the most feistiest little girl, most vocal little girl. She grew up to the most beautiful young lady. She has the desire to help people and love people and that she's just a well-rounded person. Haley Rose, where do I even start? We've told the hat story so many times as the first time we met. And while I'll always be grateful that I wore that hat that night, I know now that it was God. Although that's not when we began our relationship, it is when our journey began and the fire was sparked. I never forgot about you after that short encounter. How could I? I thought about you constantly throughout the next two years until I finally found the courage to reach back out to you again. I wasn't sure if I even had a shot, and it wasn't the best first date, to say the least. But I will forever be grateful that God has blessed me with you. Well, I used to pray during Sunday Mass that God was preparing someone for me who was kind, patient, selfless, and faithful. I prayed for someone who loved God first and would always put Him first. I prayed for someone who could make me laugh even on the hard days. And then I met you, the answer to all my prayers. I know there are so many things each person in a marriage has to bring to the table, but I want you to know a couple of the guarantees I have for us. I promise to actively choose to love you every day. I promise to trust and respect you even if we don't see eye to eye. I promise to stand by you through the hard times and celebrate with you in all the joyful times. I promise to love and cherish you until we are both gone from this earth and forever after that in heaven. As we receive this sacrament of holy matrimony together, we become one and you'll be my number one priority from then on. I promise to put you and our future family before all else. As we take this next step, I find myself feeling more excited and anxious for our forever journey and I can't wait to get started. Here's to forever, Rosie. I love you more than words can say. Let's do this. Probably one of my favorite memories uh, of her as a, as a little girl, um, her mother and I talk about it a lot. She, uh, she, she had a, a little baby and uh, I guess the baby was, was, was not doing what she wanted. So uh, she had it in the corner in a timeout with the chair over it, scolding that baby. Uh, 
And yeah, that's probably one of the, the, the best memories of her as a little kid. Well, I, I would say that uh, the two of y'all uh, enjoy life, uh, take care of each other, uh, be kind to each other. Um, um, y'all, y'all make such a good couple. I can see it in y'all's faces and how y'all treat each other. Kim and I love you, Will. We love you, Haley. We wish y'all the best. Um, may God bless you. big day for me and I couldn't ask for a better group of guys to back me up and and uh, be there by my side um, as I take this next step in my life um, I'm excited um, we're gonna have a great time and um, just I love each and every one of you more than you know um, let's uh, let's go have ourselves a good time Cheers. Cheers. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. So in the presence of the Church, I ask you to state your intentions. William and Haley, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared, as you follow the path of marriage, to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, William. I, William. Take you, Haley. Take you, Haley. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Haley. I, Haley. Take you, William. Take you, William. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise. I promise to be faithful to, to be you. faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God who joined together our first parents in paradise. Strengthen and bless in Christ the consent you have declared before the church, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. I, with great joy, pronounce you wife and husband. You may kiss your bride.
Man, best advice I can give you guys is that the day in and day out grind of marriage is that there will be days where you don't want to serve and love and care for one another. And you're not going to do it naturally. And so, man, draw upon the reality of uh, your Savior who does that for you every day and, and forgives us constantly um, and has given us life. Um, and if we draw upon that, you can really love and care for one another in that way and be able to forgive um, and enjoy uh, being with one another. So, so excited for you guys. Congratulations. Um, you're going to do great. Haley, Will, I love y'all. Will, you're taking my best friend, but that's okay. Uh, I wish y'all nothing but the best, and I'm just truly thankful to have y'all in my life. And Haley, I'm so honored to stand by your side today, and I will love you forever, and just thank you for being my person. And I just say, continue to work hard. Uh, both of you are you know, strong individuals, hard workers. Uh, it's not going to be easy, as you know. There's going to be challenges. Um, but always stay connected to who you are, and, and you know, who you are right now is is fun, um, strong people. So just keep being you. I mean, I feel like they have so much already right going for them. I would just say continue to do what you're doing, appreciate each other, love each other, include your family, you know, include your friends. Like we want to be here, and we we're we're so happy for y'all, and just continue doing y'all. Y'all are doing amazing. <laughs> Haley and Will, I wish you the very very best. Know that I will always be here for you. No matter what you need, I'm just a phone call away, no matter how far you are. I love you both dearly from the bottom of my heart.